the score was not a fair representation of or accurate representation of how hard that game was for us. I thought that um, Reggie had his team extremely well prepared. Uh, they challenged all our defensive fundamentals. <coughs> uh, they, I'm not, I'm not so sure I've ever seen a team hit as many shots as the buzzer, buzzer going down. Uh, they must have shot 70% under four, five, five seconds on the shot clock. <coughs> I thought that the, the game plan on P.J. Savoy was excellent. They were determined they, they were not going to give him any real good open looks. And I'm saying that because it, it caused us to have to make a lot of adjustments. Uh, when a team is executing their defensive game plan as well as they were. Uh, and then not only they, they really overplayed us and took certain spots away from us on the floor to challenge our ability to be consistent. For instance, uh, we like to try to make 120, 115 passes. In, in, in a half, we only were able to make 74, 75 passes, not because our kids were playing selfish, because their defensive schemes uh, made us stagnant. Uh, but I was proud of the fact that we were able to make adjustments. Uh, there were times in the game where I thought we moved the ball very well. Uh, the things that, that has been concerning us is how long is it going to take for our, our rotation players to, to start figuring things out. I thought they played a little bit better tonight. I thought our energy was good coming off the bench. We got <coughs> what, 51 points off the, off the bench, which is, which is higher in anybody's book. Um, uh, we still need to – we're still showing uh, some periods where we got to get better. We can't be as stagnant on, on the offensive end. Uh, and we can't uh, sometimes try to attack as quick as we did, I thought, in the first half and part of the second half. Overall, I'm pleased. The effort was good. I thought that uh, we had uh, great, great uh, energy coming off the bench. Uh, I thought we, we were making progress with, with our, our younger players, our first-year guys. Uh, overall, I, I'm pleased. But I, my, but I take my hat off to this team. This is the hardest, toughest 30-point victory I think I've ever been a part of. Questions, please. Leonard Nash, two really good guards, or three really, if you make shots, whether, whether they're challenged or not. Yes. I thought we did a pretty good job, no, no doubt about that. We, we're trying to concentrate on making progress in those areas. And we're going to play against those kind of guys in the ACC every night out. And uh, we got to figure out a way how to contain them and, and, and contest a little better and uh, do a little better job in, in, in trying to make them miss. Because it was obvious that <laughs> if you gave them a good look, they were not going to miss uh, during critical parts of the, of the game. Um, I think we're growing up a little. Uh, I want to see what I can how consistent we're going to be as we move into a tournament where we're going to be facing uh, uh, opponents that are equally as talented and, and well coached. Uh, these early games that are challenging us like this, I think it's going to serve well for us as we try to give our guys an idea of what it's going to be like as we prepare for the ACC tournament. As we move into this tournament down there, I mean, uh, we got to be ready to play because on any given night, if you're not ready, something bad can happen. I think you've seen all the, 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 the uh, outstanding games that have been played around the country. And the, some of the teams that have been favored uh, have not come out on top. And we don't want to be one of those teams. Beyond you with the, uh, the dunk in the first half, and you guys were trailing at that point, you brought some energy, and they went on to have a career night. What do you say about his contribution? Well, it was obvious that we need guys to play with that level of, of energy. And we challenged them. We need to have energy coming off the bench. And I thought we got it for the most part. And, uh, but, but I don't want to have to be highlighting someone having exceptional energy coming off the bench much longer. We, that needs to be our identity. You know, we're trying to develop an identity that's consistent. And right now, we're not quite there yet. But that was a great play. I thought every one of those guys came in and made good plays. I don't think there was anyone that, that came in the game that didn't give us some spark at some point. That's what we're looking for. We need to have energy coming off uh, for those guys because we, we think we've won games as much with 6 through 11 as we won as we have with 1 through 5. Coach, at one point in the 
one um, rubber beats on the fifth point. How do you manage to encourage your guys to continue to trust the process? I understand. How do you encourage your guys to continue to trust the process? Well, we, we're growing in that area. There's no doubt about that. I mean, for instance, we had several possessions, far too many, where we made one or two passes and guys tried to make plays without moving the defense. So when a team is set with their defense, uh, you, you, you need to move them, move the defense so you can get a high percentage shot. And it's not a selfish, it's just that it's, they're adjusting to the way we have to play with this team in order for us to be successful. In other words, we need to constantly be trying to create high percentage shots for each other with ball yeah. movement and player movement. And we, we've, we had some, some moments where we didn't execute that very well. And I don't think it's something that's a selfish. It's just, uh, it's just learning how to play at this level in order to give yourself the best chance to win. What's the question? Uh, <coughs> Devin, you've talked about guys that brought a lot of energy, played 14 minutes tonight. He had 10 points, but he also had three steals. Just how impressed have you been with him? Devin has some instincts that, uh, that allows him to make plays offensively and defensively. He's, ath he's athletic enough that he can physically do things uh, because of his athleticism, but his anticipation on deflections and steals, uh, the way he breaks on balls and he anticipates uh, his timing is, is, is excellent. And I don't think you, you, you're just seeing the glimpse, just a glimpse of what we see on a regular basis. And, and on top of that, he's a, he, he's a sponge. He, he accepts coaching. Uh, he's eager to learn. Sometimes he, he, he's not a guy who's stressed by making mistakes. Uh, he, he takes corrective, he takes criticism with a smile on his face where he's, he just wants to get it right. Uh, I, I think that he's, he has a, t a chance to develop into a really out outstanding player for us. We just hope they continue to keep progressing, uh, and I believe he will. Is there any update on Phil? Not really. I mean, he's, we're trying to get him out of the boot. So he can just start doing some um, some walking on the ultra G. Um, I think you know I, I I don't think he's anywhere close to being ready to play right now. I, mean, I think we're ways away. Uh, I think no, I think we think he's getting better, but it's just one of those things we just gotta let nature take its course. With the way you guys play, swarming after shooters, diving on the floor a lot. Is this team just kind of giving you the energy? I know you're not. We had a little bit more energy tonight than we did in, in, in New Orleans. But that's part of the growth process. It, it just doesn't happen overnight. You know, there's a, uh, that's just a process we got to go through. We want to make progress, but in order to make progress, you got to go through the process. And sometimes that's, that creates the anxiety with, the, with, with players from an individual standpoint because they're competitors. They want to play, they want to contribute, and, and psychologically, sometimes when things are not going well for them, sometimes they don't always handle it well, and that's the, that's the, the 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 magic level that we're trying to get to, and trying to get guys to buy into playing and keeping everybody fresh, uh, and that, that's a challenge because there was a there was a, a, a period in the second half, as well as uh, they were playing. I could see that they were fatiguing because of the, the, the number of players that we were running at them. Uh, and, and we didn't necessarily have our most experienced players on the floor at that time, but we had some, some young guys that were playing with a lot of energy, and we were able to make some plays, get some stops, get some rebounds, get some outlets, and, and pushing the ball like that as hard as we are, as we have been doing, sometimes fatigues people. And there was a period there where I thought that was the difference and us being able to get uh, some separation. With, with the energy, just how much is how much of a test is kind of the three three games over four days against some pretty good teams this weekend? Well, there's no doubt that that we're going to be challenged, and we need the full complement of all our players playing well in order for us to be successful against the quality of the competition that we're going to be facing. Uh, this is a good opportunity for us, and um, you know there was we were we were down couple points there late in the second half, I believe. I mean, the first half, right? When we down two, three points. But there toward the end, once again, I thought our, the quality of our depth 
you know, took his toll on them there toward the end of the first half. And we were able to get, to get a little more separation. They cut it about eight, I believe, a couple of times. But once again, I thought that fresh bodies were able to go, go into the game and, and, and give us a little boost of energy. And I thought then there was a period where I thought we just broke them because of we, had, we threw a lot of guys at them. It wasn't because they wasn't trying hard, they weren't executing. Uh, and we were giving it a pretty good effort. We, it was, it was, they're a good basketball team. They're very well coached. Are you all set? All right. Thank you, Coach.